Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today I have another box of jewelry to open for you guys. This is a Goodwill Blue Box 5 pound repurposed box of jewelry. And this one came from let me look Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I got two and so, yeah, I'll be opening them both up, but this one today, for anybody that doesn't know, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, and I'm looking for pieces of jewelry to flip on eBay. Occasionally, I keep a piece or two if it is, if I fall in love with it and want to add it to my collection, but let's go ahead and see what's in this box. Let's take a quick peek and it's loose jewelry. Oh, and I see a couple things that are already interesting me. I think I see some amethyst in there and some, some pins. So let's dump this out and I can show you guys pieces one by one. All right, Fredericksburg, Virginia. I don't know if I've gotten boxes from Fredericksburg, Virginia yet, but right off the bat, this is really cool. Thunderbird. And it says solid copper, and then it just has a symbol, which looks like a tomahawk and an arrowhead to me. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Definitely Native American and that's awesome. Super cool. I like that. Great start. We've got a brooch with some large rhinestones. And this is a nice piece. It's got some gunk right here. Definitely has some gunk on it, but it feels heavy and nice. And the back of it has like a really cool texture. So that's a cute brooch. So this looks like a Native American style Heishi necklace. It's the ground shells and stones. And then we have what look like little silver and turquoise piece there. is not magnetic let's let's test it real quick just because I am curious and if this is sterling silver and a real turquoise chip it does add value to this necklace if it is fake then it is not as valuable so I'm curious let's check like it could be. Oh, and it is. So, can you guys see it? So my thoughts are, if these are sterling silver, then this probably is a turquoise chip. And that's a, a neat piece. Very Native American style. Okay, we have woven seed bead bracelet. That's cool. Kind of has that wave design on there. We have this really pretty glass bead bracelet. Really pretty art glass beads. little cat's eye beads and these are glass I can feel it they're cold this is a cool piece I like 
that one. This is a pretty brooch. I'm trying to figure out this material. I want to say wood and maybe some type of um, acrylic or over the wood. It's cute. This is cold, it feels like stone. It's a stretch with some black crosses. These look like glasses holders. Oh, that one's broken. Okay, so this will have to go into craft and it actually has some really pretty glass beads on there. So that'll make a great crafting piece. We have a jewel mint necklace, gold tone. The chain looks like maybe it's fading a little bit because it's not as bright gold as the pretty little pendant there. Well, that's a cute necklace with pretty rhinestones. We have a silver tone bracelet does say something on the inside there. Just says China. So it's more than likely not a silver. Nope, just a little fashion bracelet. And then this, this is really interesting. So this is heavy and cold. It feels nice. Let's see. I do see a magnetic pull on this. So I think it's just a fashion piece, but it's made really nice. Let me see if there's any marks. No. No marks. No, that's pretty cool. I like that necklace. Very heavy and made well. We have a coil bracelet and these feel like glass beads. They're cold. A couple more bracelets I see. This is a plastic stretch with sparkly gold beads. And this one feels like glass. This one's cold. that and this looks cool all right this brooch looks looks awesome we've got a bunch of little gemstone chips let's see if this is magnetic Ooh, there is a magnetic pull yeah I do see a little one Yeah, still really cool. I like it, I like the look of it. It has a vintage look to it. This is a glass pendant, cute art glass, cute. Let's see. some amethyst stretch bracelets. One of them have little crystal rondelles on them and the other one does not. I don't know if they're supposed to go together, but pretty. I'm going to keep these ones on. These chip stretch bracelets don't go for a ton of money, so I generally keep them because I love stone jewelry anyway, so... 
We have some yellow acrylic beads. Whoa, this is long. This can definitely be doubled. Vintage acrylic necklace. Pretty yellow color. It's kind of like a soft lemon. Well, this was cute at one point, this little daisy brooch, but it is missing the center to that daisy and the paint is chipping. So yeah, unless, yeah, no, this is probably gonna have to go into crafting. I was gonna try to see if I could save it, but probably not. glass beads and little chips, red chips, which look dyed, but this is nice. It has a nice clasp here. I will probably try to sell this one. I think this one is nice enough to sell. I support country music. C E M B A. Okay, I like country music. I like all kinds of music. Pretty much any type of music I like. Not some of the hardcore stuff, but most everything. Cheapy little bangle. And this looks interesting. This says Heritage Pewter. And then what looks like a TW. And this looks like a piece that you would have um, engraved. It's on just a silver tone chain. Well, what looks like silver tone chain. Feels like silver tone. Let's see. Yep. So this can be engraved to say whatever you want to say. All right, this looks really cool. So it looks like some type of medallion with some type of engraving in there. And these are heavy and cold. trying to figure out what these beads are. It's just on a an old corded necklace. Let's see if this is magnetic. No. All right, let's test it. I didn't wipe up my last mess. Got a silver scratch there. It looks hopeful. Let's see. Mm, I don't think so. Nope, it disappeared. Bummer. That looks really cool. What are these pieces? Well, I don't know, but I still think this is a cool piece. It's not sterling silver, but it's awesome. It's different. It's unique. I like stuff like that. 
We have some cloisonne, but unfortunately I'm seeing lots of damage and such a bummer. So we've got some damage on the outside there and then on the inside here. And cloisonne is one of those things that they don't really sell for a ton of money. And I'm always in such shock because I'm, I love cloisonne jewelry. So I just end up keeping it because I refuse to sell this for a couple dollars. So I keep them all. And I have my cloisonne collection along with many other things. That's cool looking. So this looks old. And it feels like wood and it looks like it's painted. This looks really cool. I see some type of mark here. Let me see. King. C. Oh goodness, I can't make that out. I cannot make that out. Yeah. Well, maybe you guys can see it, but I'm having a hard time making that signature out, but I still think this is really cool and I will have to do some research on this. We have a little velvet box with a pin that says United States Department of Agriculture. All right. Okie doke. We have another pin. This says more. Buchanan plant. 1964 to 1984. Okay. This is a nice, this looks like silver. A nice thick rope chain. Some tarnishing on it. Let me look. I see some marks. 925 Italy. 925 on the clasp. And on the other side, it says 925 Italy too. Awesome. This is a really nice thick silver rope chain. And I can get that tarnish off. Have a little silver tone bracelet. There is a magnetic pull there. This is just a fashion piece. Silver tone's good. It's very thin though. Oh, this is broken and this is really pretty. Look at the butterfly. So I am going to put this aside and see if the rest of this necklace is there and if it's fixable. If not, this will have to go into a craft lot. And that's really pretty. That's a bummer. Ooh, looks like we have another silver necklace. This one is more dainty. It's just a little twist on the chain and it's short, more like one that would sit just under the neck or above the collar. Let's look at that mark. Yep, 925. What does that say? There is some type of um, mark on there. Hmm. 
something VU? MVU? I don't know. It's really small. There's some type of maker's mark over there, but pretty small to see even through my loop. Earring, earring, earring. Lots of earrings. Pretty crystal bead necklace with an AB shimmer on these beads. It's magnetic. It's still pretty. Very nice gold tone on this necklace. I'm looking for marks. Not seeing any. I think it's just a fashion necklace. Yeah, it is. This will be one that I'll set aside to see if I come across some type of pendant that would look pretty on there. We have a Givenchy sign on this necklace. That is the symbol for Givenchy. This is really pretty. It's a gunmetal gray color and it has these gorgeous red crystals. It's wanting to kink up over here though. Oh, even on the back of it it has the pretty you know what this necklace is really wanting to kink up that would be a little annoying but look at how pretty that is have a Statue of Liberty pin and that says crown I hear the puppy whining so for those of you guys that don't know my daughter bought a puppy it's a lab husky mix and it is the cutest thing ever. That's neat. And is bringing so much joy to this home, but having a puppy is a lot of work. So it's a good experience for my daughter who is 20. This looks like silver to me. It's a cute little silver bracelet. Let's look. I see something I think here. Yes, it says 925. Let's see if it's magnetic. Oh, it's magnetic. Hmm. Could be the wire. I do see that there's a wire underneath. So let's test this out because it says 925. I'm going to test the little ball. And let's test the clasp too. Because the clasp says 925, but. Oh yeah, it is. It's instantly turning. So the ball pieces and the clasp. So all the pieces on this bracelet are sterling silver. It is probably just the wire underneath that is the magnetic. So always test. You never know. There you go. It 
cute little silver bracelet. Got some silver pieces in here. So far, I'm liking this a lot. I feel like the Goodwill blue boxes have been getting a bit better. On my end, at least, I'm noticing. And on the videos that I'm watching, I'm noticing some better pieces. You gotta be competitive with ThreadUp, I think, else they're gonna lose business. These are really cool. These are wood and very retro looking to me. They're nice size, they're big. They're like an inch and a half to two inches long. Cool, I like those. This looks really interesting. So it's heavy and cold. This is definitely a stone. Look at how cool that is for all my stone lovers out there. Um, but the silver is not looking silver to me. It's looking Let's test it to be sure, but my guess is from looking at it and seeing the seams, oh no, I could definitely see it's already bronze. You get an eye, and it doesn't mean I'm always right, but most of the time by looking at it, it is not. So the setting here is not silver, but this is definitely a real stone. Very cool real stone, and I still like the detail on this pendant, which I'm assuming it's a pendant, but it would have to be a pretty thick chain to hold this because this is heavy. And you guys, feel free to email me with questions. I love helping out when I can, and I'm not saying I always can because I'm still learning and I think I could probably be doing this for 20 years and still be learning. Jewelry is such a an endless thing, I feel like. There's so much to learn about it from stones to metals to, to gems and glass and makers and vintage. And oh, it's just an endless thing. But um, yes, I'm always... Give me some time because I don't check my email every day. It's on my iPad and it's not on my phone. So I don't check it every single day, but I will definitely get back to you. This looks like a homemade piece with some glass beads. We have a coach keychain. This is really cute. It has a heart and, and pink rhinestones. It says coach and it has the little coach tag there. This is really cute. It's in great condition. Cute, I think I can definitely sell that. Hmm. Magnabilities.com, patent pending. So it looks like it's missing something here, but Magnability. So I'm thinking it's a magnet and maybe you can change out the, the, the pendant here and they're magnetic. Those are, that's my thought, Magnabilities. But um, yeah, I will look that up and maybe there is a piece in the box here that goes to that. I'm not sure. Looks like I have a lot of little pieces in this box. Yep, that's just a fashion piece, but it's really cute. A little flower there. Earring. What is this? That's an earring, but this says Hawaii. Oh, this is cute. I think this is a little purse charm. It has a hibiscus. Cute, cute little purse charm, but that'll probably, I'll probably put that into craft because 
Oh my goodness. This is cool. This is a nickel. A 1937 nickel. I like this. I do have a coin collection among a ton of my collections. Coins are one of them. So I don't know if I'm going to be selling this piece. That's a cool, I think this is for, what is this, a tie clip, I think. But I love that. That is super cool. All righty. Ooh, I love it when they do this. I wish they could do this for everyone. These are vintage screw back earrings. And I do think I see a mark back there. Let's look. They say silver. They say silver back on this little thing there. Those are really cool. Pretty. Oh, these are real pearls. There's a grit there. So I'm going to put those back together so I don't lose the pair. That's really cool. I love getting vintage pieces in my jewelry lots too. This just looks like a little fashion anklet maybe. Ooh, I hope that ring, I hope that earring, other earring is here. A NASA pendant. Five cents. That looks like somebody's garage sale. I'm pretty sure that's not a... Well, there is some type of marking on there, but I'm not going to pick that sticker off. But that's cool. A NASA pendant. Looks kind of older. All earrings. A runaway bead. goodness there are so many Ooh, this is cool Ooh, this is cool too look at that abalone doesn't look like a silver setting to me but this shirt is pretty really pretty test it just for you curious ones out there. Nope, it is not. Not silver. But that still is really pretty. I like that piece. And this is interesting. So it looks like it could be amber. It's light and sticky. Hmm. It's wire wrapped in a gold tone and it is not magnetic. I have just recently gotten a question on the gold testing. So I'm going to test that real quick for you guys. Um, when I am testing for gold, you always start with the 10 carat. Hold on. I'm going to push pause and grab my gold testing just to show you guys. So I know I've done this before, but I recently got a question on testing for gold. So I wanted to show you guys again. So do your scratch like you would for, for anything. And it is doing a gold scratch and the same with gold pieces. It, it's going to have a gold scratch if it's gold. 
me do it a little bit longer. So I always start with the 10 karat gold. If the 10 karat gold makes this line disappear, then it's not gold. And if it doesn't, then you know it's at least 10 karat gold. I guess in some cases there's gold that is a little bit less than 10 karat, but not generally. So let's see, I go across so I can see the difference in line. line is still there. It is not disappearing. Let me see. So this wire wrapping is at least 10 karat gold. Let me show you guys before I move along. Can you see the line still there? I don't know if you can. So the line is still there. It faded a little bit, but no, not really. No, it's still there. It's still there. I just don't know if you can see with this light glaring. So the 10 karat gold acid did not erase this. So that makes me think even more that this is probably amber. Um, I don't think that they would wrap plastic in gold. But um, so it's at least 10 karat. Let's see if it is 14 karat. Mm, I'm not, the 14 karat is not erasing it either. Can you guys see it? It's still there. So this is 14 karat gold wrap. Let me see if I can shut off. Since we're testing, let's just test. Let's see if it's amber. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys in here. I'm in my office. And this is how I test. I don't know if I've shown my flashlight. This is a black light flashlight. I got this on Amazon. And let's see. Can you see it glowing? That's amber. So that is how I test. I haven't tried to do that in my office yet. That's cool that that worked out. So we have, this is exciting, we have a pendant, wire wrapped amber pendant in 14 karat gold wire. And there's definitely some cool things going on on the inside of this one, some inclusions. And so that's an awesome piece. I'm excited about that. Hopefully this video doesn't go too long because I'm showing you guys some stuff. And you guys could give me your opinion. Do you like when I show you guys or would you rather me just tell you? I know a lot of you guys are learning and like seeing it but then there's some who have been doing this even longer than I have and that probably got really boring so candy corn rocks pendant I actually like candy corn oh it's missing some rhinestones this will probably go into, this is heavy and cute, but the little rhinestone thing down there is not. So, okay. Oh, look at the cute little girl with the bonnet. 
Oh, there's marks back here. Lots of marks. It says, stir. What? Lang. AGC. Look at all the marks on the back of this thing. AGC, I'll have to look that up. I think on the top there it says stir. Let's see if it's stir. Let's just see. It might be gold plated over sterling silver. Hmm. Well, it's not disappearing, so it very well could be. But it's not glowing either, but it's not disappearing. The line is still there. So could be a gold plate over silver. It's a cute little little bonnet girl. more earrings a little pendant a little pin sing unto the lord pin what is this pin maybe that's like a tie pin kind of looks like it could be gold pin nope it is not Right. I'm getting down to the last bits here and then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to look through those earrings. How will we ever make it through all those earrings? Another tie pin. My kids are being really loud right now. But what are you gonna do? the last bit of the bits and then I'm gonna have to go through some of these earrings all right this is it little pave heart Cute little pink crystal but it's oh you can see that it has holes there it was probably a bracelet of some sort different pieces we have a bagged set of earrings which is nice Like pretty little stone beads, gold tone. They are magnetic. Whoa, my light just got like really bright all of a sudden. It has a mind of its own, I guess. Just cute little gold tone and stone earrings. We have a ring that is wire wrapped and I can tell that these are freshwater pearls but it's like a crazy mess. The ring itself is pretty bent and the, and the beads are a mess. And there's that. Kind of messy, but still cute. Little stretch. This looks interesting. Okay, this looks like it's real silver to me. Let's look. Stir, S-T-E-R, and it has a, before that, it has a P, a P, and like a copyright mark, and then stir. Let's see if I see any more marks. Nope. 
I will research P stir because that's what it says. It's a cool ring. I am pretty positive this is sterling. I don't think I need to test this. This definitely looks sterling to me. That's awesome. I'm happy with the sterling pieces. This is a piece to something craft. Another earring, another earring. This is a clip of some sort. Oh, this says something in there. Bluette made in France. Bluette. Bluette. Huh. Okay, so this is made in France. It looks like some type of scarf clip, maybe. Fur clip, scarf clip. There are some spiky teeth in there to grab onto something, but that's cool. Like made in France. Ew, this is gross. I'm not gonna even look for the made of that. We have a mish, oh mish, oh my goodness, I'm getting tongue tied now. Must be getting late. The wishbone necklace. Nope, this is a fashion piece. A loose rhinestone. Okay, these are, I've got a few loose stones. That's a pretty one. And it has like a little, what does that say? Oh, I thought I saw markings on this little gold ring, but no. Let's see what this is for fun. It's glass. So I just started putting all my loose little rhinestones and stones in my cute little cloisonne bird box. Isn't this cute? I've had this for a while. I found this at a thrift store. And it's a cute little bird cloisonne trinket box. And I've started to keep, anytime I come across any loose stones, I'm gonna put it in there. And that way if I could ever fix something, they'll be there for me. All right, guess what time it is? It is time to go through earrings this is a lot of earrings guys oh we could do it like that not anything important no no there's too many to do it like that yet all right here's a match these are vintage clips i am seeing a mark on it Japan. These are vintage Japan clip earrings. They're pretty dirty, but I will try to clean those up. All right, so what else do we have here? I'm not seeing the other one to this, and this is falling apart. I will put that in craft. That one. Craft. There's so much to look at, it's hard to see. I'm not seeing the other one of those. Here's clips, no marks. Oh, here we go. Here's a match. It's a pretty little. Crystal earrings, no marks. Those are pretty though, I like those. Here's a match, yay! And these are cute little vintage screw back with art glass bead. These do say something on the back. 925, 
And there is a brand here. Is that a candelabra? Hmm. You guys, can you see it? There is a mark on the back of these ones. Mm, I was trying to see if I can show you guys, but I'm not thinking so. Nope. I'm just going to give you guys a headache. So these are 925 and there is a designer's mark on there. I will try to look a little bit closer. It kind of looks like it could be a candelabra, but so that's really cool. I'm excited about that. Those are pretty. I'm not seeing, oh, here we go. Nope. They're not the same size. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video because then this is just going to get way too long. I'm going to see if I can make any matches, show you guys, and then, um, yeah, show you what matches I have. And hopefully I'll be able to get some other pairs in the other box. Okay. Out of all of these single earrings, I can only make three more matches. These little chunky silver hoops. These are Trafari um, clips. They're not crown Trafari, they're the regular Trafari, a little bit more modern. Um, those are cute clips. And then these pretty little antiqued gold tone earrings with the lavender and purple colored crystals. And then all of these pieces here are sterling silver single earrings. So, yep, that is it. I'm actually tempted to open the second box from this Goodwill right now to see if I can, if there's matches. There were some really cool earrings in here. I'm super bummed about that, but okay. I'm not gonna dwell on that. I'm gonna pull back my favorite pieces from this lot. There were a few that I did really like and in this video. Okay, here it is. Here are my favorites from this Goodwill Blue Box. I'm actually really thrilled with this. Lots of fun pieces. All of these vintage brooches and these cool pieces, even though they're not real silver, and that stone one, the coach keychain, the 1937 nickel, the Givenchy, the Heishi style necklace with the sterling silver beads, the 14 karat gold amber pendant. The two sterling silver necklaces, the sterling silver bracelet, the sterling silver ring, the two pairs of sterling silver screw back earrings, the cute little pendant here, and all of these sterling silver single earrings. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me open this lot. I think I'm going to hurry up and open the second one. I want to see if I have any of the pairs to those earrings. And until next time, guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for being here and I'll see you then. Bye.